we have returned to Oz, the Autumn at Oz Festival here on Beach Mountain, the world's largest Wizard of Oz Festival. Hey, it's Andrew from Park Rovers, and we are excited because it is the 30th anniversary of the Autumn at Oz Festival here on Beach Mountain. Unfortunately, we got a little bit of rain here this morning on Beach Mountain, uh, but you do see some vendors set up, including Mimi's Treasures and Lisa's Kettle Corn. Last year, we took the lift up to Kansas and back down from the Emerald City. And you can get those lift tickets at Ski Beach Sports. But due to the rain, I think we might opt for the free shuttle bus to get up to Kansas. And I might get a brewski at Beach Mountain Brewing before we head on up. As of recording, it's Sunday, September 17th and almost 11 a.m., which is when the brewery opens. Looks like we'll be the first one at the bar this morning. Cheers. And it's time to get on the bus. Ooh, that's a fancy bus. You got the Wicked Witch in the passenger seat there. Well, we've made it up and we are about to enter the land of Oz. And this view is a little bit different than last time, which was a sunny day about a year ago. And here we are. Here is the Fountain of Youth. And here's the history lesson. The park originally opened in 1970 and the Autumn at Oz Festival was founded in 1993, and this is the 30th anniversary of the Autumn at Oz Festival. And here's the map of the park. We are at the Fountain of Youth, and we are about to head to Kansas, and then we'll go through the Gale House and end up on the Yellow Brick Road, which of course, leads to the Emerald City. As you walk to Kansas, there's a lot of fun facts, including this. In 1970, the Land of Oz purchased several costumes from the MGM film. And here is the main guy behind the Land of Oz, Jack Penties, and of course, Grover Robbins was responsible for the building of the park. Grover Robbins is the man behind Tweetsie Railroad and a park that eventually became Dollywood. Here's the Judy Garland Memorial Overlook. Of course, you can't really see much today. Here are the celebrity park guests that have visited the park, including the scarecrow himself, Ray Bolger, Debbie Reynolds, Carrie Fisher of Star Wars fame, Jay North, Muhammad Ali, and Amy Sedaris. Some more fun facts here, including the Wicked Witch herself, Margaret Hamilton, starring on Sesame Street in a very scary episode. And here is the Grover Robbins Memorial Garden. Gentlemen, gather around and sing happy songs. And pass the corn stalks is Kansas. Here in Kansas, you have Professor Marvel and the Gale House. And Kansas has its own gift shop with plenty of Land of Oz merchandise. I'm tempted to get a new hat. Here's a t-shirt that's new for this year rainbow colored land of Oz, North Carolina. And you have a corresponding hat. It says land of Oz NC right on the back. 
Here's a yellow brick road t-shirt. There's no place like Oz. This might be one of the coolest things for sale. An old flip book with pictures from, I believe, the 70s. Here's a picture of the balloon ride that would circulate the top of the mountain. And confirmed, all of these postcards are from the 70s. They were found in a basement. So here's Professor Marvel and the, the farmhands. You want to talk about doing a day's work, Professor? So now I think it is time to once again go through the Gale House. I was just fixing the sink for the eighth time this morning. It's still not fixed yet. It's about it every day. Good morning. Hello. Welcome Good. to the Gale Farm. Good morning. Most of my friends call me FDM, but uh, I just, I, I love having visitors, but there's a, such a storm coming, I, I don't have time to chat with you. I'm going to put you all down in the storm center. Oh, we have to go downstairs? Yes, right down the steps. Okay. So watch your step. Okay. Slippery. Thank you. Oh no, look what happened to the house. Annie M was standing right there. She told us to go downstairs. And then there was a tornado. Whew. Oh my. All these photos are crooked. Oh my. See the doll on the doll on the floor there. Stuff everywhere. Someone's outside the window. Oh no. Look at the piano. Oh my. This doesn't seem good. No. You're coming in and out of a crime scene. A, out of a crime scene? Yes. Oh my goodness. I guess you haven't been flying long, <laughs> landing houses on people. Oh my goodness. All sort of mayhem. Oh goodness. Well, we're going to go this way, I think, away from you. <laughs> Oh, looks pretty nice over here. Once you get past the Wicked Witch. Here's Glinda, the Good Witch. We're gonna, we're gonna follow the yellow brick road though. Look at all these tiny houses. Wow, and a tiny man. <laughs> 
Welcome to Munchkin Land. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Lots of tiny houses here in Munchkin Land. Here's where you meet the scarecrow. And I switched to an appropriate hat to meet the scarecrow. <laughs> Hmm. It's boo! It's scat! It's boo! That's funny. Scarecrows don't talk. I still have to get used to us, it seems. They don't? <laughs> well, how do you like that? All this time I thought it was normal for scarecrows to talk. But then again, I don't have a brain, so I wouldn't know any differently. Well, how do you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know. But some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? I guess you're right. <laughs> Well, anyway, it's good to finally be off this pole. <laughs> My, it's good to be free. Whoa! Oh. Oh, oh! Did I scare you? Oh, no, I just thought you hurt yourself. I didn't think so. You see, I can't even scare a crow. They come from miles around just to eat in my field and laugh in my face. Oh, I'm a failure because I haven't got a brain. Well, what would you do with a brain if you had one? Why, if I had a brain, I, I could... I could while away the hours conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. Ooh. I'd unravel every riddle for any individual in trouble or in pain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. With the thoughts you'd be thinking you could be another Lincoln if you only had a brain. Gosh, it would be awful pleasing to reason out the reason for things I can't explain. Then perhaps I deserve ya and be even worthy of ya if I only had a brain. <laughs> If I only had a brain. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was wonderful, Scarecrow. <laughs> well, you should come with us to the Emerald City. We can ask the wizard for a brain. Do you really think this wizard would give me a brain? Oh, if he's all as great and powerful as I've been told, I'm almost positive he could. Hooray! We're off to see a wizard. Oh, maybe you shouldn't go just yet. It seems you have a lot of friends to visit with in your cornfield. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't I stay here and say hello to all of them, and I'll meet you at the Emerald City. Well, what a great idea, Scarecrow. I'll see you in the Emerald City. All right, goodbye now. Goodbye. Oh, thank goodness I can talk again. Oil my arms, please, oil my elbows. Oh, did I hurt you? No, that felt wonderful. Now you're perfect. Oh, my neck, my neck. Perfect? Bang on my chest if you think I'm perfect. Go ahead. Oh, I don't hear it. It's empty. The tinsmith forgot to give me a heart. No heart? All hollow. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal. And yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presumed and that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. I'd be tender, I'd be gentle, and awful sentimental regarding love and art. I'd be friends with the sparrows and the boy who shoots the arrows if I only had a heart. Whoa!
when we got there? Oh, he will. He must. We've come such a long way already. Oh, it appears I'm still a little rusty. I'll have to ask our friends to slide some oil to me, loosen up my joints a bit, and then I'll meet with him with Sure, they'd be glad to help me. I'd better be on my way. I've got a rich man at me, and I don't want to get into any more trouble. See you soon, Dorothy. Bye-bye, Timmy. -bye, what if we run into lions and tigers and bears? Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! Which one of you goes first? I'll take you all together if you want. I'll take you standing on one foot. I'll take you with my eyes closed. I'll get you too. Come here. Shame on you. Thinking of all these people and they're nothing but nice to you. Nice? How do you know they're nice? Look at that little Dorothy. She looks like she could mess someone up. <laughs> <laughs> Look what a fuss you're making. You're nothing but a great big coward. Oh, you're right. I am a coward. I haven't any courage at all. Look at the circles under my eyes. I haven't slept in weeks. <laughs> Have you tried counting sheep? That doesn't do any good. See, I'm, I'm afraid of them. <laughs> There's no need to be scared now. You have your friends to help you. Do you think the wizard could help them too? Yes. Yeah. Well, my life has been simply unbearable. It's been in me for so long. I, I just got to tell you how I feel. Life is sad, believe me, Missy. When you're born to be a sissy without the villain birth. Could change my habits, never more be scared of rabbits if I only had the nerve. <sighs> I'm afraid there's no denying, I'm just a dandelion, a fate I don't deserve. But I could show my prowess, be a lion, not a mouse if I only had the nerve. Oh, oh I'd be in my stride. King down to the core. I could roll the way I never rolled before. And I would pass and roll some old. Oh. Oh. I've always wanted to see the Emerald City. We're all going to see the wizard, and if you can ask him for some courage, before you know it, you'll be the bravest of them all. That's awful nice of you, but wouldn't you feel degraded to be seen in the company of a cowardly lion? Oh, not at all. Gee, I would. <laughs> Don't be silly. We'd love to have you join us. Oh, sounds fun and all, but I don't think I can. I'm too afraid to leave my forest. I've got a nice cozy cave that I've just redecorated. You know how it goes. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> oh, You're never going to get your courage if you keep hiding out in this forest. Listen, the scarecrow wants a brain, and the tin man wants a heart, and I want to get home to Kansas. They're meeting me in the Emerald City to ask the wizard, too. We'll all be there together. Together, eh? Like friends? Oh, not like friends. Our friends. Never had a friend before. All right, just talk me into it. <laughs> then maybe the rabbits will start showing a little respect to me. <laughs> I'll see you in the Emerald City. Bye-bye. Right by the Cowardly Lion spot is this birdhouse tree. This looks really cool. And the sign says that park designer Jack Penty's created several spots off the yellow brick road to help with crowd control, including this birdhouse tree. And many exotic birds were in this birdhouse during the park's first year, but Unfortunately, management did not know that the birds couldn't survive the cold Beach Mountain nights. Onward. Wow, look at all these mushrooms in a waterfall.
Looks like we're headed to the haunted forest now. If you've gotten this far, you're lost. Water. No, no, no water. No water. No water. Found. Find the girl. Steal the shoes. Rule Oz. He really must be a wonderful wizard to live in a city like that. What are we waiting for? Oh, let's hurry. Yes, let's run. Oh, my magic will begin working soon. Poppy. Poppies will make them sleep. Then they'll never make it to the Emerald City, and I'll be the most powerful in all of Oz. As for all of you, you've been of no help, Daniel. <laughs> you can go, but if you care to find me, look to the western sky. Well, we've made it past the Winkies and the Wicked Witch, and now it's time to head to the Emerald City. So the balloon ride was the only original ride here at the Land of Oz in the 70s. It had 24 steel balloons on a vertical chairlift. And this is one of them. They have one stationary here. Oh, I see the green door. The gatekeeper. Hey, the courage is right there. You're just gonna talk to the wizard. You'll be fine. Does the wizard have food? Uh, right over there. Right over there. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. So we're here at the Emerald City now. It looks a little different from last year, but very similar. There's the over the rainbow observation deck. That's an add-on experience. If you want to see what that's like, watch our video from last year. So we'll head on inside. This is where the main shop is. So there's a little more merchandise here than in Kansas. They also have a lot of vintage Wizard of Oz merchandise. Look at this, this is, I think, the most expensive here. This is a uh, complete DECA record set from 1939 for 300 bucks. Wow. Here's a set of four dolls from 1984, that's $115. And here's some Procter & Gamble puppets. These are from the 60s, $15 each. Oh, this is, this is nice. This looks like there's a lot more room than last year. At the Emerald City, there's a few different food vendors. I went with elevated flavors in their brat. Also in the Emerald City is the face paint that was over by the Fountain of Youth last year and there's several vendors that are set up. Of course, they have their merchandise covered due to the, yeah. the rain we've been having today. But looks like they have some awesome stuff. Or maybe I should have said awesome stuff. <laughs> this is rather interesting. A Wizard of Oz DVD promo with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on top. All right, now it's time to see the show here in the Emerald City. And right outside while you're waiting to enter the show is the Omaha State Fair balloon photo op. Awesome.
request. We melted her. Oh, you liquidated her, eh? Very resourceful. Go away. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But I want to go home now. You've had plenty of time on bed. Yeah. You're not around the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. You're lucky I'm giving you audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. that our journey through the land of Oz is complete. I'm at the 5506 Sky Bar and here's the chairlift. You can kind of see the sun starting to come out down there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Park Rovers, and we'll see you next time.